I know people are very much um, anticipating this trailer. I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of concern floating around this right now because a lot of reasons. Some people didn't like the art style and that was shown in the uh, the theatrical trailer they showed. Some people are concerned that with the uh, the new staff and the new the new folks taking over, the Dragon Age might lose its identity. Um, and so hopefully this gameplay trailer will either confirm those fears or put them to bed is the kind of the, the hope that we have. So it's been 10 years. Like actually though, it's been 10 years. That's the best part about Inquisition is that the other builds were actually fun, which is dope. So if they, like I said, if they expand on that, I'm cool. Hopefully they don't Andromeda it. That's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> the bar's in hell. Like that's all they gotta do. They just gotta clear that bar. Here we go. This is supposed to be about 15 minutes, I think. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Looks good. <laughs> we don't want to look conspicuous. Level one rogue, shadow dragon backstory, nice. Cool. You get to pick a backstory and stuff? That'll be fun. You still think you Normal. can talk him down before Dude, he starts dragon his age. ritual? Uh-oh. Audio balancing in this uh in this trailer is not great. Some things are so loud. That's bad. <laughs> Visually, it looks pretty good. I gotta replay this series, dude. <laughs> nice. Still got the response wheel. The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised. I like how much the main character is speaking, like actually communicating. All right, here's the combat. Demons, here they come. Ooh, quick swap to a bow is cool. Very minimalistic HUD, too. I'm guessing the 8 out of 8, that's probably how many arrows you have. Hmm. That's a very, uh... I'll, I'll hold my thoughts. <laughs> my immediate thoughts seeing the health pots next to the uh, health bar like that, my immediate thoughts go soul-like. Like souls-like. I hope they didn't take that direction. Spell effects look good. They're allies of Nev Gallus! Kill them all. Ah, okay, so this is where all the abilities are. Nice. Looks like you could hot like put down at least um three of them, it looks like. You can just hot spot between them. Or pull up the big wheel. Very Dragon Age! Traced it I'm digging this. I, I'm sorry I'm victory. silent. I just. <laughs> That's where your man is it seems interesting enough for me. I'm good. I'm pretty satisfied. Should be fun. Yeah, this is cool, man. It looks cool. I mean, the, the story seems like it's going to be fun. So is the bottom thing a skill bar then? Is that like how many skills you have available? And then that recharges as well. Instead of having like mana. Or a cooldown. Yeah. There's still a cooldown in the abilities anyways, but... Fighting fills the bar. Yeah, no, it works. It works. It's definitely different. Like, that. there's no denying that, right? It's definitely different. But the game also came out on the PlayStation 3. It's the two full console generations away. And then you can't uh, control your allies this early in the game. So this is just a tutorial section then. Trying to get you used to it. 
Nice. Got a recover button. That's cool. Right. That's also valid, yeah. Yeah, the jump from one to two was pretty um, wild. I love how expressive the, um, that's a customized character too, how expressive the customized character is. They did a pretty good job. Just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. <laughs> this is a mistake, or you can do it. Hmm. Come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. I gotta try to reach him. But if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons. Rook, take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Looks like Solus. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Looks good. Let's buy him some time. I'll hold the overall comments until the trailer's over. I don't want to speak over it too, too much. Wonder if that's a rogue specific trait. You see how it's got like the little spidey sense thing going over top of his head? Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. You have to choose one? Oh boy. We'll follow you into greater danger. Let's go, Hardy. Nev. That's gonna stress people out. <laughs> You can hear him talking still. That's cool. That was it. All right. So, a couple of things. We'll go over some thoughts, some overall thoughts, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about it for a couple minutes here. So, obviously, the the plot looks pretty good. It looks pretty intriguing. Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Honestly, the graphics uh, doesn't that doesn't really bother me too much in terms of like the graphical uh, quality itself. I think it looks fine. It's not obviously it doesn't look like anything we've seen in uh, the last couple of years. It looks fine. I think it looks good. I think it's a good evolution of the Dragon Age art style. I think it looks fine. Um, in terms of the combat itself, it looks very Dragon Agey. You got to remember that in the in the past games, and I think this is pretty important. In the past games, the big draw of Dragon Age was the plot, the characters, the decision making that led to like overarching different like pathways you could take, right? And that was the big draw of Dragon Age. And this might be subjective. That might just be me. But like, I never played Dragon Age because the combat was so in incredibly fun that I needed to get back into the combat again, right? That wasn't me. I had fun with Dragon Age 1, I had fun with Dragon Age 2, I had fun with Dragon Age 3. Yeah, yeah, so maybe they were just trying to not show off the other skill sets or the other class options yet. That's one thing that I think is pretty important and I wanna like reiterate again. Like if that's the main character, which I'm assuming it is, and the fact that you can customize the main character like that and they're gonna have different voice actors and the facial expressions are all like as expressive as they are. I wonder how, obviously the customization is probably not gonna be as deep as a result, but that's still super cool. That's not very, that's not very standard in today's modern age, right? Usually if anything's like as expressive like that with the, with the visuals and the facial expressions, it's usually all set characters, nothing you can really do. But yeah, so that's 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 definitely one one aspect of this that I think we probably should get into first, because like the plot seems very very like engaging. It feels very good in that regard. So I'm not like over overall concerned when I talk about the things I'm about to criticize. They're more just like I noticed it. We're gonna talk about it. It's part of the you know what I mean. It is what it is. The immediate the immediate thought is um the combat looks kind of like it looks okay. It looks fine. I feel like if this game had come out in June of 2023, we'd all be looking at this going, oh damn, like, that looks that looks pretty fun. Like, you know what I mean? We'd probably be looking at it like that. 
But now we've got other RPGs that are very similar combat styles that we can compare this to. It's it's gonna get out, out oh it's gonna get outshadowed because of that. Which isn't fair because this game's been in development for the last probably five, six years, if I had to badge a bet. Um, and they didn't have, you know, the likes of Final Fantasy 16, Rebirth, you know what I mean, to compare notes to see what they've done. So we can't really, it's not right to compare to those two games. Uh, yes, 100%, 100%. And having like, I, I mentioned this before being an issue with, um, with 16 specifically, that having cooldowns on abilities feels bad when combat itself is not very intuitive. So since there's a lot of different regular attacks you can do because they were do dodging around it seemed like there were different attack variations they were doing there was obviously ranged combat you could drop back and do a range like a bow a bow attack super quick so there's ways to bridge the gap between your abilities going off and it does seem to have like the atp system kind of like how final fantasy 7 remake series does because it had the little two bars on the bottom and you need to fill those up in order to actually use one of the abilities and it does look like that fills up from attacking so it looks like there is some inspiration from the um from the seven remake series which makes sense seven remake series has done combat pretty pretty well in the last two games rebirth especially is probably one of the most fun games in terms of like rpg action combat i think rebirth is probably one of the best games i've ever played with that combat style i'm interested to see if like commanding your other party members if they have their own atb bars or if it's going to take like your own little bar at the bottom to command one of them to use an attack that's something that I'm pretty interested in. But at the end of the day, like I said before, like the combat isn't the reason why I played Dragon Age. I played Dragon Age because the plot was like enticing and the characters were fun and the like conversation pieces between the characters was fun to play. So like from my perspective, it's not gonna be as good as Rebirth, like not even close, but it looks like it'll be fine. It's gonna get the job done. But like, if you walked into this not knowing that they had replaced their entire team, like the, like most of, if not all of the original Dragon Age team members are gone, this, this looks like an evolution of the Dragon Age series to me. It feels like an evolution of the Dragon Age series. It looks like an evolution of the Dragon Age series. I think if you're a Dragon Age fan, you're probably looking at this going, yeah, that's good. I think if you were expecting it to be like S tier, you might be disappointed, right? I don't think it was quite there from what we saw today, but I don't think it looked bad. I think it looks good. It looks like a fun game. I think it looks like a fun game. From my perspective, I actually liked, I liked all the Dragon Age games, so I'm gonna play it. Like, there is nothing in there that dissuaded me today. Note that when I say, when I say fans, I'm talking like the super fans that we're dealing with, like in the Final Fantasy VII realm, where there's some super fans that are very like gatekeepy and want everything to be like absolutely perfect to their expectations, or it's not good enough. Those people will probably not be happy because there'll be stuff to pick apart. Cause there is stuff to pick apart. It didn't look perfect. There were, there were definitely some things to criticize in that, but I don't think it was like, yeah, no, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't look like it was mashy. It looked like there was like some variation in the combat with the dodging system, with the bows, with, you know what I mean? So yeah, no, absolutely. It looked pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I don't think that's anything to be super concerned about at this point. I think that looks like a game that's ready to release and good news. It is ready to release. So it will come out in a couple months. Any other closing thoughts? Uh, I, I, like I said, I, again, I, I don't think that this is going to be a game that we want to compare to the thought, to the likes of like re, the, the recent releases, right? We can't, we can't really compare this to the re, re, recent releases. It's going to be easy to try to compare this to the likes of Rebirth and to the likes of Final Fantasy 16. But yeah, no, I think overall we should be pretty happy. That's, that's pretty exciting, man. Looks good.